I watched live from Facebook the APEC 2022 hosted in Thailand this year. First of all, APEC stands for Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation. In the first section, session, uh, Dr. Jen Grin Kanatarana talked about the BCG model as I've learned it's bioeconomy, biocircular economy, and green economy. I already learned that. And they also revealed the expected outcomes of if we be, are able to achieve the BCGs. It will be sustainable environment, social economic prosperity, economic prosperity, and growth, and self-reliance of the population. In the second session of the APEC, I listened to Sufficient Economy and a Sustainable Future by Miss Jinangun. Rojananan, the Deputy Secretary General of the National Economic and Social Development Council. She talked about the definition of the sufficient economy by King Rama IX, uh, the SEP, Innovation for sustain a Sustainable Future, also how it can actually help achieve the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, made in 2015 to be achieved by 2030, but now has have been being stalled because, moreover, because of the pandemic. And also, I also watched The Recult by Mr. Earn, surprisingly an RIS alumni back in the year 20, uh, 2006. The Recult that can change farmers' life using big data. Mr. Earn believes that there are six main questions or problems farmers face. When should we plant the crops? When should we grow it? When should we... Uh, put in the fertilizer for plantation management, five, the harvest, time of harvest, and lastly, where to sell it. He believes that farmers in Thailand are the backbone of the country, but now they are being left behind because it's uh, a slow part of the GDP because you have to wait seasons for it to be able to grow. You need the crops, you have to get it out into the market, and it only covers 10%, 10% of the GDP in the country. From farmers who used to be the backbone of the country are now being left behind, as said. So he believes that we can use big data. What is big data? So he uses data such as weather forecasts, weather, weather predictions, to predict soil conditionings, to be able to plant the fertilizers, and when uh when the time of harvest is best and also like a satellite pictures of the whole farm of land if not you will have to dry you have to walk and it'll take ages to be able to cover the whole area so he uses satellite pictures just like you know cctv cameras to look where the problems are so you can immediately go there to see instead of checking around and wasting your time and also where to sell it is also very important. He believes that uh, he puts market prices uh, that would make farmers be able to choose the best market that will give them the best prices for their crops, which would actually help farmers a lot. I think it could help farmers very much if this could be shared across the country. And farmers can actually become the backbone of Thailand again. And uh, be able to contribute more to the country's GDP. Be sure to check out APEC 2022 and the recall that can change farmers' lives. Thank you. I'm Messi.